our last video, so let's catch up with the rest of July 2020. So here we go, Tales from Little Glee Bakers, July Part 2. Bought a tow ball for the lawnmower, but it didn't fit. Trying to drill the hole out made no difference, so we ended up firing. Eventually we could get the tow ball into the hole, and now we have a lawnmower that will pull a tray. decided to move the pigs into their new paddock. Quick Jane, he's coming. Phew, that was close. And the lawnmower gets his first job pulling the trail. Mo has a scratch while Ruby supervises the bed making. And little Mo has a tummy tickled. We decide to split the paddock that the sheep run into two, so using the new petrol driven knocker in we we'll build a new fence. We try very hard to keep the posts straight and all in a line, and to be fair, we didn't do too bad a job. of hours we stop for some lunch and well-earned spam cobs. Especially for Lisa. She likes this tissue. And back to the grindstone. Post's all in and Jane gazes over it with a critical eye. Jane does some soaring and I do some hammering. Then we do some wire fence putting up a ring. And voila, the paddock is split neatly in two, completely repurposed gates. We move the Leicester long walls and their lambs to another paddock and my very special Father's Day crook is his first outing on YouTube. We had to put the girls back after a couple of days because the grass was too rich and it was giving them the squids. We decided to try and sell some dahlias so we put them out the front and we actually sold none. Big fat fail. We harvest some of the vegetables that we planted And apparently, one thing you can't have at this time of the year is too many flowers. Also what becomes apparent at this type of the year, we haven't got enough vases. Jane starts to knit her Lester Long War Gansey and experiments with dyeing in a microwave and after struggling with processing blue faced Lester locks she decides to try flip carding with good results apparently. As you may have guessed I've ordered a sheepdog puppy and if you've got a sheepdog puppy you need some new sheep. So, 
trip to the market and we buy seven scabby cold sheep. Six, probably Herdwicks, and one white one that probably isn't Herdwick. Well, hopefully, happy days, girls. Stacey's got fly striker maggots from when we put on the rich pasta the other week. Uh, so we're bringing them in to clean up her bottom, remove the maggots and give them all a worm in and a spray. In. Maggots removed, all seems okay, and we let Lacey back out into the paddock. Jane is as agile as ever, and I demonstrate I've not lost my gymnastic flair. We disguise ourselves as a push we call you, and we trim the sheep's feet. Do a bit of spray. put the seven new girls out into the paddock. Grandma Jean and Grandpa John come down, so I'll put them to good use to help me declutter the pond. Jane saw a spinning wheel advertised on Facebook, so he went down to Oxford to pick it up. It had not been used as a spinning wheel, more of an ornament for many years, and it's been put together wrong. So we had to put together right, and with a few odds and ends Jane had got, um, and in no time at all, spinning like a spinning wheel. And as it turns out, it was an Ashford traveller, so it travelled down the field so Jane could spin by the pond. So, as intent on ever as avoiding domestic chores, Jane sets up her dyeing laboratory. She mixes up some concoctions and some yellow dye, green dye, blue dye and a blacky purple dye and apparently this is her experimental phase where she's figuring out how to get various dyes to do various things. And as it turns out, she didn't do too bad a job. 